Hi, my name is Peter Kim. And I did an experiment on what would happen if people were to rely on Google for every decision they make. I used the Google search engine and Google Home Mini as my main sources. The basic reason for doing this experiment is that I'm interested in data collection and presentation. And I've been wanting to test the usability of Google's services in daily lives. So I've set some rules for the experiment. 1. For a week, always ask Google when needed to decide something. 2. Follow the first feed excluding the advertisements. 3. Follow the next feed when the first one has been already chosen in the past. OK Google, how's the weather today? Today in New York City, there will be isolated thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 91 and a low of 69. Right now, it's 91 and partly cloudy. Ah, oh, this is sad. OK Google, play some music. Sure, here's some music on Google Play Music. OK Google, when should I sleep? Are you getting tired already? I'll be up all night if you need anything. Well. After the first day of the experiment, I noticed how frustrating it could be to eat food that you don't want. I also noticed how I shouldn't be moving while I search for something. The slightest change of location tends to affect the search results. It was hilarious when I tried to ask Google Home Mini to decide when I should sleep and I did not expect the answer at all. OK Google, how's the weather today? In New York City today, it'll be sunny, with a forecasted high of 9 and a low of 0 degrees Celsius. Right now it's 2 and sunny. Finally the week is over and I'm glad that I can eat whatever I want. The most difficult part of the experiment was that I could not follow my preferences at all. I had to deal with things that I didn't like. The most interesting part of the experiment was that Google Home had unexpected answers to some complex questions. In my opinion the usability of Google services that I tested is not that effective in daily lives. First, there could be some guidance involved in the process of asking for an answer out of many options. But there is no preference related to the answer at all. The services only uses data and randomness to provide the answers. Also, the answers are always the same unless there is a change of location. Besides asking for music, I believe there are no questions that can ask for different answers when asked multiple times. These services are still computers and they function with algorithms. From my experiment, I was able to spot some limitations and benefits for relying on Google's services. However, there seem to be more critical limitations than benefits. In conclusion, I would consider the services as not effective yet. In terms of the usability of the services in daily lives, I think too much reliance on Google cannot bring happiness and convenience to the user. The measure of reliance should be limited to more of a guidance as they were designed that way.